Howdy folks, TJ here. Time to play in television. I'm pretty excited. My last video I showed that I would do an unboxing of the actual computer. I couldn't, I couldn't wait, sorry. <laughs> I, I, it was pretty much just think of a kid on Christmas morning coming out and seeing a package. <laughs> Done. That's what it was. So I don't think I had time to video anything. But we'll chat about what I've got set up over here in my little fun corner. Uh, it's pretty much a 1970s, 80s corner at this point because um, along with this RCA Color Track 2000 from the 80s, I've got my Atari 2600, the original um, six heavyweight sixer here, and I've got my Odyssey 2. Below it, I've got a laser disc player. Yeah, a laser disc player. I get to. Uh, Play laser discs over here on this cool 25-inch RCA TV. Or is it 27? I forget. I'm going to have to measure it again. I think it's 25, 27. Ah, who cares? It's big. It's heavy. Almost broke my back getting it in the house. Then I've got my Intellivision 2. So like I said, I wish my Intellivision 1, the original one, uh, would work. It's not. I'm going to have to fix it. So I'm going to pop my cherry here on Intellivision 2. I hear the joysticks suck. Uh, such is life, you know. This is going to be my first dive into it. And um, I did find that I have skiing. Like I said in my last video, the only game I ever played, I think, on it was skiing. So if you've ever watched any of my game playing videos, I'm like a, a person or a gladiator thrown into the lion's den. I never played the game before. In this case... 50 years ago or whatever? No, I have got my math wrong. 40 years ago? I was like 1980, 79. So yeah, it was a hell of a long time ago. Um, so skiing. So we're going to methodically go through. I'm going to uh, talk about how I connected it up to my TV. I've got my Television 2 box up there. I love having boxes for old computers. It kind of makes it feel like I bought it for the first time and whenever it came out. My Television little poster. Got my Running Man hat. And rainbows, bandanas on it. <laughs> He's Ken. What can I do? I've got to I represent him in a way. So, yeah, this is my fun little 70s, 80s corner. Seems appropriate to play these old games on good old CRT. So, let's talk about what I've done. So, I did receive a nice little adapter that you will then use as a regular cable TV type of coax cable. So I'm not using the RCA cable that uh, would have come with the computer back then. So that's plugged into the back of this. And then if you've watched some of my past videos, I've got a cool switch box. Three coax switch box that I can switch between three things. And this is now my number third. So I've got the Atari connected to one, Odyssey to the other, and now in television to the third. So cool. In television two, pretty good condition. I don't see any major blemishes or anything like on that. And uh, set it to channel 4. Got it connected up to the right cable box back there. And got it plugged into power. Haven't started it yet. Uh, so this is going to be a first. But uh, let's quickly talk about the Intellivision 2 user guide. So if I was back then, I probably would have went, uh, uh, as a kid, would I have... Yeah, I'm a pretty diligent person. So I probably would have thumbed through it to make sure I connected up right. Because I'm kind of anal like that. But once I made sure the connection was done, I wouldn't read beyond that. And game uh, booklets, I probably wouldn't have read much about that either. Like I said, throw the line into the den, see what happens. Then afterwards, read the, the description in the, in, in the little booklet and how you're supposed to play it. But anyway, it comes with a nice master component uh, manual. And uh, so I quickly kind of thumbed through that yesterday. Just a little bit, just to know enough that if you push and hold this button in for three seconds, it shuts it off, and if you hit it quick, it resets it. So I figured I should know at least that much. So, cool. All right, let's grab skiing. And so the nice thing about the skiing, hopefully the uh, lighting's coming in well enough here. Uh, so, nice box. Front has a nice little Mattel Electronics and Television Intelligent. Intelligent television, in television, yeah. Skiing, and uh, in the back of it's got, and this is probably not going to come up too well, but good enough for probably the video. On the back, it kind of shows what the game's going to kind of look like. So back as a kid, I probably would have, oh, this is awesome graphics! Oh, yeah, it is. 
So let's read the back. This package contains one skiing cartridge, two controller overlays, and playing instructions. And I own an Aquarius, so I know a little bit about overlays, but back then I had no clue. Uh, Atari didn't have any overlay. That I remember, although they had some keypad things you could get that I think had some overlay stuff, but I never had any of that. Skier at the starting gate, three heats to a race. Fastest time wins. So it's got a little picture of that. Cool. Uh, skiing cartridge, Alpine ski competition. Pick your course and choose the slope. The race is on. Maneuver through the gates. Jump the moguls. And watch out for trees. Oh, I'm going to be running into lots of trees. If you've watched my videos, I'm not a great video game player. I can be on some games that I get anally into. I like using that word today. Anally. I guess once you hit your 50s, you deal with that a lot. Okay. So, speed through the downhill runs. Edge through precision slalom turns. Go flat out to the finish line. Learn the course. Pace yourself. So, in ski competition, won the six players... Two race courses, downhill and slalom. Up to 15 steepness grades for downhill and slalom hills. Animated skiers, jump moguls, edge through turns, race downhill. Fastest time wins, computer keep score. Simulated sounds, whoosh, of skis hit trees and gates cross the finish line. Cool. So, open the little booklet. So it's got a nice little... Um, Easy to get to cartridge. Cool. So let's pluck out the cartridge. Oh, this whole little plastic doohickey came out. So the cool thing is their cartridges feel a little um, more slender than an Atari 2600 type of cartridge. It's got a kind of an angle to it, um, which is kind of cool. So a pretty basic cartridge, but it um, says skiing on it. Other than that, it's their form of cartridge. Put that there. On the side flap here, it's got some stuff. So here's my first overlay touched in bazillion years. So let me look at this first, and then I'll share it with you. I know this may be boring for some, but hey, it's my first time owning any television. So 1980 Mattel. So these are like little plasticky overlays and that's a close-up so as I'm holding that here got the numbers one through zero clear enter and the direction on how to insert it into your game controller on the left side it says edge and jump and jump and edge so I, it looks like there's four buttons on the joystick so I guess I choose on how I want to hold my joystick which I should read through the booklet quick because it is a unique you know most joysticks are like this but these are a little bit different, so I've, uh, am I going to hold it with my left hand and use my thumb? I've got to figure out that, but let's look at the booklet quick and see how Intellivision says you should hold it. I don't know if they went that far or whether you just should generically know. So this to me, there's a picture so far, the first picture at least. And this kind of shows that maybe he's holding it with his left hand. No, well, right hand and he's using his thumb. And then on the left hand are the action keys. So it's like use your, your left hand, although it's using this finger. I would think I'd use my thumb, but I could be wrong. The hand controllers. Let me keep flipping here. Yeah, that's where it ends. And then on the other side, it's got French, it looks like. So this is from Canada, probably Quebec or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, which way am I holding the book? Okay, I want to go back and look at the joystick thing. I know this is going to be a long video, and you're probably bored, but I don't care. <laughs> Just fast forward. The components include two hand controllers, which are connected with coil cables. Twelve keys. There are two action buttons. The disc in the lower portion of the rifle gives you control of the objects. Usually, disc directions correspond. Eh. Doesn't really say, hey, buddy, hold with this hand and push with that hand, so... I guess they keep that generic enough for you to figure out whatever is comfortable for you. All right, so anything else in this box? There is a top. Uh, no, it, uh, I've got some cartridges. I've got a whole bunch of cartridges down there, by the way. Uh, oh, there's this and this stuff, too. So it looks like they slipped it in here 
which is easier than open the bottom and trying to shuffle stuff out. So this also came with a press reset button. Oh, here's a little booklet. So skiing, here's a little booklet that comes with it. And an Intellivision, a lot more fun and a whole lot more. Mattel Electronics. Little catalog, because you want to buy more games and they want to sell you more stuff. Let's put this here. Let me quickly look through. It shows you how to insert your, your uh, overlay. I don't think I'm going to read much beyond that. The downhill course. I'm just going to kind of wing it and see what the hell happens. Although, you yeah, know, I'm going to wing it. I'll stick with my normal winging. It's telling you how to play the game. And I may have to go back and read it afterwards. Um, yeah, so cool, cool little booklet that tells you how to use the game. And let's quickly look through the little catalog. Because I, as a kid, that night you would have been going, Oh, I want this game and that game. And even at my 50s, I want this game and that game. A lot of sports games. Backgammon, that one probably wouldn't have attracted me. Las Vegas Poker. Astro Smash. You know, I don't know if I own that one. I'm going to have to look. Yeah, lots of uh, sports games. NFL Football. Space Battle. Should have showed some of the other ones. But you guys have all seen this before. This has been out a long time. Just my first time. The Electric Company. Math fun. You remember the Electric Company? You know, the, the kids show that I remember was Villa Alegre in California. Because I grew up, I was here when I was seven. I moved from Rhode Island, one to seven in Rhode Island. Then moved out here to California. So, Villa Alegre. La, 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 Villa Alegre. Villa Alegre. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, you probably remember, or an electric company we watched as kids. Armor Battle. I think I have that one. Space Armada. It looks like a Space Invaders kind of game. Awesome. You know, I did an Odyssey vs. Atari um, uh, duel on Space Invaders type of game, so maybe I'm going to have to add that. Dungeons and Dragons. I don't think I own that one. I'm going to have to buy Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, so awesome. I almost want to stop recording and see if I have Dungeons and Dragons down there, but I'm not. So, this stuff, I'm going to insert back in here. Like I said, this is going to be a long video. But, you know, hey, such is life. And I guess I only need one of these overlays. Let's stick this up here on my Odyssey. And I'm guessing this left joystick. Now, I've got to say, people ragged on this joystick and the buttons do feel like dead flesh <laughs> but I'm kind of used to that with the Sinclair computers uh, give it a little bit of a stretch you know yeah kind of like fishing line all right should I show a close-up of this uh, yeah let's make a quick little close-up how am I running here holy you already had 13 minutes in television see it looks really clean pretty nice huh cool and we'll look down here later, but I've got a box full of games. And we're going to play it on my nice big old RCA TV. That I forgot what the size of it is. Still recording? think so. So now I'm going to shift over to here. And we're going to move in closer for the gameplay. Whoa! I take people on adventures when I <laughs> play video games. And I may turn off that light up there because the camera is going to adjust to the light on the TV and then everything kind of gets funky and dark. And it may get funky and dark a little bit, but let's turn on my TV. Getting nervous. Everything's there? Yep. All right, channel four. <laughs> this is my first time. Okay, hopefully I've got everything connected up right. Uh, oh, i got to insert the cartridge. It's on the right side here. Nice, firm, clickety-click. All right. Hey! Mattel Electronics presents skiing. Now what the hell do I do? Okay, get my joystick out. 
I think I'm going to hold with my left hand and use my right. Um, enter. Alright, skiers. I guess I'm going to hit the number one. One. No. <laughs> Oh, I took it. I had to click a little harder. Yeah, you're right. The joystick. Dead flash. <laughs> Maybe I've been... Oh, yeesh. Okay. Skier. Okay, you want to hit enter? Slope. One. Oh, God. One. <laughs> All right. Slope. Enter. Course. One. Enter. Oh, what am I doing now? Uh, jump or edge. I don't know what edge is. Oh, now he's going down. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> uh, I gotta... <laughs> okay. Do you supposed to push something to get started? Or maybe that's what the edge button is. Oh, I just jumped. Jump? Oh, I gotta get used to this. Oh, he's so fast. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, no, you gotta go down. Oh, I'm not gonna make that gate. Oh, he fit. Oh, I kind of like that how he fell. Okay, I'm just gonna go left. Oh, what the hell was? That? Oh, I gotta jump over that. It must be a mogul. <laughs> oh, he just splatted. Is that how he splats? Oh, I think there's some computer anomaly here. That don't supposed to look like that. Oh no! I gotta restart this game. Something's not right. Enter. No, that doesn't look right. Oh, reset. Oh, that wasn't good. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, let's try playing again. Um. Uh. Enter. One. One. Enter. One. Enter. One. Enter. Oh, I guess I chose it. Okay. Oh, he's cruising now. Oh, I hit the post. No, you gotta go through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Jump! Oh! <laughs> hey, at least I jumped. Oh. 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 Oh, he hit the post. Okay. I gotta remember where jump is. <laughs> you probably didn't realize that I'd have so much fun playing skiing. Yeah, this is bringing me back. Okay, jump! <laughs> I suck. Uh, okay, you gotta get some speed. Jump! <laughs> Not jumping. <laughs> uh, okay, just don't. Maybe I should go around those moguls. Uh, oh yeah, he's cruising now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay, maybe I got supposed to do the edge thing. Get some speed. Oh, yeah. All right, I got through one. Got to go that direction, probably. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm flying now. Am I going to make it to the finish line? Turn right quick. Jump. Oh, I jumped. Yeah, I didn't die. Oh, but I'm not going to make that thing now. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm gonna hit a tree. Oh no! Go left! Go left! Oh, go! Just, just go straight. Yeah, I like the straight ones. <laughs> oh, oh, ew. no! You gotta go down. Oh, oh, oh. There's probably some button you're supposed to hit for speed or something. Oh, I gotta jump. Oh no! Jump! <laughs> jump! Uh, just go. Uh, yeah, turn. Oh, oh, hit the post. <laughs> Man, this is a long ass. This is really a long skiing thing. I'm never gonna get to the bottom. Oh, I'm gonna hit that one. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, I know I got. Oh no, here comes the jump again. Jump! He's not jumping. I'm hitting the button. Damn, joystick sucks you right. <laughs> Just hit the post. Man, come on, get to the end. Oh, finish line! Oh, okay, that took about 10 years to finish. Although I probably started this 40 years ago, and I'm just finishing now. Woohoo! <laughs>
So, yeah, that's me opening and playing with my Intellivision for the first time. 79, 89, 99, 209. Like, yeah, it's over 40 years ago. I had to use my fingers. I'm getting old. So, yeah, this is going to be awesome. I'll sit and play this a little better and see if I can break 163. I'm guessing that's seconds. That was a lot. Maybe I should get Rainbow to try. He'd probably do better than me. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. And enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll come back with more Intellivision videos in the near future. Number one, skiing. I did it. So now i got to look through my games to see if i got Dungeons & Dragons. I need that game bad. Thanks for watching. Bye.